you're getting good luck and fortune like it's coming in super quick this generational wealth you're getting and possibly even your inheritance okay um that was stolen from you okay you're going to be able to have these passion new beginnings when you get this okay it's a lot of money all right and it's going to give you this passionate new beginnings um okay and then i feel like you're going to get this first um and because i feel like i said before i feel like your divine counterpart is already either famous or they're already very well financially set okay they don't they don't need money or anything they, and also this is definitely given i'm strongly picking up on the twin flame here um it doesn't have to be but i'm strongly picking up on at least on what i'm picking right now is it's is, is a twin flame okay and this could even be for a soulmate too but they're twin with twin flames they you're they're mirroring souls okay so what you're going through they're going through similar situations now you remember what your false flame put you through right and they were only there for money they didn't give a crap about you they were just there to steal um kill and destroy right well, they failed at their mission because they're a fucking loser. All right. So now the, your your twin is going through the same thing, except for I think your twin is more, um, you know what I mean? I feel like your twin is, it, their wounds are more recent and more, you know, unhealed because I feel like you, you were discovered, you know, your false flame sooner than they found theirs. Okay. Um, so like the wounds ain't as, you know, your wounds are healed. Okay. Theirs might not be healed all the way yet. So, but it's, I feel like, or like their, their wounds, like it just was sooner on them. Okay. Now they had someone that was only there for their money too. And like, you know, they, you know, I feel like what God is doing here, he's being very strategic and very smart about this. What he's going to do for some use is, you know, so that you don't have the thought in your head, like, oh, does he or she think that I'm only with them for money? And you know what I mean? And so that they don't think, well, oh, is he or she only with me because I have money. So what God's going to do is very smartly, very um, strategically, strategically, um, there, you, he's, you're going to get some sort of communication, quick communication about this good luck and fortune. It's going to bring you all this um, amazing abundance, okay, where you're financially abundant, whether it's your inheritance or your own, or whether it's your own financial success that you're getting is your own financial wealth that you're making you're creating yourself all right so now you're going to be set in money if you're not already and this way then you're going to come into union so this way both of you are have a clear like you don't have to worry about that like they know that first of all they they're set on money you're set on money they use both know that you ain't there for the money okay it's a very smart very strategic like very it's very smart okay so this way because you both know how you know how your past person did you they were only there for the money well there's the same thing that happened to them so it's just it's a very smart um i'm actually very um you know uh, appreciative of this because that's very smart you know what i mean um this way it's just easier because god's given you the best outcome possible okay he's making sure everything's divinely orchestrated and divinely timed okay and it's coming in please do not lose hope please do not lose faith and the more you realize this and the less you question it we have no right to question god okay first of all we have absolutely no right to question god especially when he's moving miracles ever period but especially when he's moving miracles in our lives okay guys um and that's what's like, you know, like, because you don't understand what's all going on in the background and what is all, um, you know, what's all happening here, okay? It's a major, 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 major blessing. It's like beyond your most wildest dreams, all right? So, um, and they are in power too. They, like I said, they have a lot of power. And so I'm strongly picking up on twin flames. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but I'm strongly picking up on twin flames here. Um, but again, it could be just a soulmate as well. But there's definitely a twin flame as well involved in this for some of you too. So, and no, not your false flame, guys. The ones that are like, oh no, fuck that twin flame. I don't want to do them. Da, 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 da. No, not the person that did you dirty. That's not your twin. That's your false flame. That's the false flame that comes before the twin flame. Now, if you haven't had somebody that you like, you know how you thought your false flame was your twin flame. Now, if you didn't learn that lesson and, and cut them off and then get somebody else that you're like, oh, wait, no, now this is my twin flame. For sure, this is my twin flame. Then that's not your, that was your false flame. Your false flame comes before your actual true real twin flame. And your, your, your real true twin flame is your blessing for making it through that false flame and learning all them lessons and, you know what I mean, and, and be able to make it through, okay? And then they're, they're your blessings. They're not going to treat you like your false flame did. Your false flames 
whole mission in life was to to stop you, end you, you know, kill kill and destroy you, and to make sure you that it, you didn't come into union with your actual true twin flame. Okay, that was their whole mission, and and they failed at it, and because they're fucking weird losers. Okay, and they're going to fail. All right. Now, when you come into union with your actual true twin flame, it's the mirroring soul of you. Now, you can't say that your false flame is your is your twin flame because you would never treat somebody the way they treat you. Correct. Well. Exactly, because it's not. It's your false. It's your false flame. Your twin flame is the is just the opposite sex of you. So what now? They're gonna treat you the way you treat people. Okay, so you wouldn't treat anybody the way that the false person treat you, right? Absolutely not. So that's not your true twin flame. It's your false flame that comes before your twin flame. All right, beautiful. Holy Spirit, divine spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones, passed away. What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Okay, I just heard somebody say, Oh, stop, just keep going and get into the reading. Somebody's complaining about um about me about me fucking taking time explaining this. Alright, if if you're not if you don't like that, then you might want to just unsubscribe to my channel, okay? Because um I'm not like other readers. I get into depth with things, okay? Because I focus on trying to help people and to explain it the best that I can to help them because, you know, I would want somebody to help me when I was going through this and I didn't know. So I, I apologize if you don't like that. Um, you might just want to, you know, unsubscribe if you don't like that, okay? Um, you should actually be appreciative of it because there's going to be times when there's things that you don't understand and I'm going to go into depth with it and explain it to you and, you know, you're actually going to be grateful. So if you don't like it then by all means um it's okay you don't have to stay um i apologize that you don't like it but um you know i don't know what to tell you i'm not going to change um doing it the way that that god has told me to do my yeah we have the four of cups in reverse the way god is explaining me to do it okay and this is to help people i'm here to help okay i'm not here to for anything else i'm here to help um you know and do my job that god sent me here to do to help people go from the dark to the light and you know to protect the collective and bring them the right the the, the actual right guidance and um you know help them ascend okay and give them the best advice possible now your days are of losing out on opportunities they're over okay that's not happening you know and also your divine counterpart or your twin flame or your, your you know your divine counterpart we'll just say because some use it is your twin flame some of you is it's your soulmate okay because everybody does not have a twin flame but um and you know even if you do have a twin flame you know um you might not meet them in this lifetime okay um but you know um a lot of us are but uh some might not you know what i mean but for who this is for you know so if you're not going to meet your actual twin flame this lifetime you're going to meet your soul meet this lifetime okay so uh, but uh, yeah so let me make that abundantly clear as well guys but either way um you know it's your your divine counterpart knows who you are now they don't want to lose you they don't want to um they don't they don't want to like miss out on this opportunity they know that you are their blessing from god so we had the four cups in reverse they're not losing out on opportunities you're not losing out on opportunities you could have possibly moved recently or or like got kicked out or something like that from a place or or lost something like that okay it wasn't a it wasn't a um loss okay realize that it wasn't a loss it was actually for you not against you it's so then because you're away from that area wherever it is whether it was a job um a home or whatever it was it wasn't um a loss know that it wasn't a loss it was for you it and you your time there was was not needed anymore the intentions for people around you that that place was not good it was actually a blessing in disguise okay just just realize that guys all right you're getting justice yeah beautiful you are getting justice somebody might want to take you out um dancing Okay, because I just heard my daughter out there. Um, they were just talking about something about river dancing. Somebody might want to take you down to the river or actually river dancing. Um, somebody might want to go out for like a long walk or, I don't know, out and watch by the river and, um, you know, dance with you or some shit. I don't know, dancing with the stars, I just heard. All right, they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony. You're going to about to get a, actually, you're about to get some sort of quick communication about somebody in grief, pain, sorrow, agony. You might find out someone passed away, possibly. And if so, I feel like it's a backfire. That's why. Or maybe you're just going to hear about your fucking, your, your weirdo ass ex or somebody from your past that you don't fuck with no more. They might end up drunk dialing you maybe tonight because it is St. Patty's Day. Maybe they're going to get drunk or wasted. They might like drunk dial you or some shit. I don't fucking know. 
you're going to have a reason to celebrate though, okay? Beautiful, I love it. Or this could even be, oh, okay, this might even be, sorry, this might even be your, your um, for some use, this might even be your actual person, um, your divine counterpart. They might contact you and let you know about their troubles, their sorrows, and let you know that they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony from what they went through with their past person. And they, I'm strongly getting for somebody out there, there's your divine counterpart. They're going to communicate with you. It's going to come in soon. They're going to apologize to you. I feel like there's, they didn't do anything wrong, but to them, they feel like they, they did because they knew who you were, but they didn't come forward. Okay. They, they, they didn't come forward because they were lied to about you. Okay. They were told that you were this like, you know, horrible person and <laughs> excuse me, confirmation. No, they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony, okay? Because they realize it was all lies. They realize you're the complete opposite of what people were telling them you were. All right. But they want, I feel like they want to like apologize or whatever. They're going to tell you about their, how they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony. Um, and they don't want to lose out on this opportunity. They want to come in. They want to give you their cup of love and know it is not a past person, okay? Do not take anybody. I mean, make it abundantly clear, guys. Do not take anybody that you cut off, okay? This is not, and if your ex tries sneaking her way in, if they see this reading, like, oh, let me go sneak my way in there and try and say that it's me. No, fuck no, it's not a past person. It's a new person, okay? No, 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 no. You gotta, if you want your blessings, you gotta keep the people that God had you cut off. You have to keep them cut off, okay? Now, you might get a drunk dial or, like, something about your ex, like, apologizing and saying that they changed, whatever. We don't give a fuck, okay? Um whatever just you know don't let them back in because you have somebody else your actual divine counterpart that's coming in to communicate with you that they are in grief pain sorrow agony they want to work with you they want to give you a chance they want to you know you know they don't they know who you are they don't want to lose out an opportunity with you and i feel like like for some use they're gonna they want to apologize they did nothing wrong they just really trusted the people you know the people that lied to them or people that they thought that they could that you know they would they would have took a bullet for they would have laid down and they, there was it was like their ride or die you know they would have they would have died for this person all right um they trusted their their with their life you know what i mean they never thought that this person would have or these people it could have been their own family it could have been their own parents it you know it could be their own children it could be anybody it could have even been your children okay so they just wanted their mommy and daddy still together so they lied you know so they were like well if their own child saying this this has to be true but what they should have realized is it's you know children just want their parents to be together even though it's not going to work they know it's not so of course they're gonna you know what i mean I remember we told, well, our house was haunted, but, um, when I was a kid, like, I didn't want to move from my house, all right, but a lot, even though, um, so many people died in that house, my great granny, she passed away in the house at 106 or 109 years old, um, I had, you know, she had three or four husbands, yes, she was so mean too, but she was 106 nine, or 109 years old, um, so she went through a lot of shit, and my family was a little crazy, so, <laughs> you know, um, but like, she had three or four husbands that passed away in a house, my, my Aunt Benet passed away in a house, my Uncle John died in my arms in a house, um, my baby brother Dylan passed away in that house when he was two months old, um, and a lot of my mom's friends died from um, overdoses in the house. A lot of people passed away. Then when my my great granny, um, she passed away, um, my mom was like, no, we got to sell this house. But me and my cousin Jesse, um, God rest his beautiful soul, and all my, you know, my family's beautiful souls, um, me and my Jesse were out back. And... Uh, Many people came to look at the house. We were like, no, this house, it was haunted, but it wasn't in a bad haunt. Like, you know what I mean? My, my Uncle John, who died in my arms, we could hear him walking up the steps at night after he passed away. There was probably something negative why everybody passed away in the house, but I love that house. And I didn't want to leave my Uncle John, especially because he died in my arms when, um, when I was five or six. And I was hugging him, you know, I didn't, he overdosed. And I was hugging him and I woke up to two of sleeping. He, you know, he was holding me in his arms and I was, I fell asleep, you know. He just came home from jail two days before that. And I woke up to uh, two paramedics and a cop at the door. And like, you know, there was two paramedics at the foot of the bed. My mom screaming, telling me to go in the basement because our basement was our game room. And I was holding, like my Uncle John had his arms around me and I had my arms, I was like hugging him. I fell asleep in his arms, you know, and I seen the two paramedics and a cop at the doorway. And my mom's like, Mick, go downstairs, get downstairs now. And she's yelling at me. 
because um, she was scared. She'd see me hugging her dead brother. And um, I knew it was going on even at five or six years old. And But in my mind, I was thinking, if I keep hugging him, he's going to stay alive. If I let go of him, he's going to pass away. So I kept hugging him. My mom's like, get Like, I started squeezing. My mom got really freaked out because she's pulling handfuls of foam out of his mouth. And I was just, and she's seeing her five or six year old daughter squeezing her dead brother. And she's like, Mitty, get downstairs, go downstairs. And I was like, you know, I was like, no, Uncle John, I love you, Uncle John. And I'm holding on. And my mom's like, get downstairs, get downstairs. And the paramedics were standing there. And um, I just didn't want to let go. My mom had to literally pick me up and pry me off my Uncle John. Because I thought that if I, if I kept holding him, he would still be alive. And I didn't want, you know, I, I didn't want to let go of him. So she picked me up and threw me um like not to you know not to harm me but she was just scared I was hugging her her dead her dead brother and she was just trying to help her brother uh, and didn't want me hugging her you know you know what I mean um and he's like foaming out the mouth and I just see my mom like she picked me up she threw me um and I like into the cop like just trying to you know to protect me you know what I mean she just didn't want me you know and out the way and I remember I, I you know kind of fell on the ground like you know fell into the cop and I looked up at the cop and the cop's like go down go downstairs Misty go downstairs and I looked over at my uncle John and my mom's pulling handfuls of foam out of his mouth and I I looked at him and I was like rest in peace uncle John I'm gonna love and miss you and um the cops started his eyes started watering he's like misty just go downstairs honey go downstairs and he's like everything's going to be okay and i remember i was like i looked up and i was like two steps down i looked up at the cop and i was like did your uncle john just die and he looked i was like so don't tell me it's going to be okay and the cops started crying and he was like just go downstairs honey go downstairs so i went downstairs the next day my mom was like mitty i gotta tell you something uncle john um i was like i already know she's like what i was like oh, uncle john passed away and she's like, how do you know that? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I, I know he, he did, but he, like, we used to, and like, he used to have, he got, um, he had something like surgery when he was young, when he was younger. And like his one foot, he had a very distinctive, you know, walk when you would hear him coming up the steps. It was like a loud thump, a light thump, a loud thump, a light thump. Well, in the room that he passed away in, he, I used, at nighttime, we would all hear him walking up the steps at night. And he was like a thump, 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 thump. Like you, we knew it was my Uncle John's walk we used to hear him walk up the steps so we but we told like the people that are trying to rent the house or buy the house i mean we're like no 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 this house is haunted you don't want you don't want to live here <laughs> because we just want to stay there <laughs> but whatever <laughs> i forget where i was going with that but yeah there are people who are in great pants are agony over you they can't sleep at night this is your fucking your your false your your ex you know so i'm strongly getting even your your true person they want to come in um they're they're you know they, they know who you are they feel bad they're regretting it's not their fault though they were just really trusting but they feel like these people were making them lose out on their blessing you know what i mean um and you know what i mean but uh oh, i thought they're knocking on my door but yeah see look and also your false person your, your ex they're they, they're crying because they know you're getting this ace of cups your cup's going to be overflowing with love and you deserve it and they're like also i'm strongly getting they're getting this that person that had the dream of you being married and happy they got the and they probably also had a dream of them passing and being you know, <laughs> as they should they probably did holy spirit divine spirit angels and ancestors and loved ones that passed away there's something hidden here okay there's a sun in the reverse well your your person you know these people that work together with your ex and anybody else who steals inheritance from you and that were coming up against you they're living in darkness okay the sun in the reverse they're living in complete darkness they're um you know there there's something hidden here too some sort of hidden luck or fortune maybe this inheritance this group cult coven secret society hold on guys yeah all right sorry guys so yeah there's um something hidden here oh this is what it was hidden okay i see what it is okay so they didn't realize though that you were this spiritual leader that you're extremely gifted you're your spiritual um you know extremely gifted you're a spiritual leader you have gifts and it's what you're doing for work okay um they're trying to put an end to this but i feel like this also yeah look okay yep exactly what this is. yep look at this exactly what this is all right this was hidden from them. They didn't know that you were the spiritual leader, extremely gifted. Um, you use your gifts for the good, okay? Now, 
that and this is what you're doing for work too is something with your spiritual gifts they were trying to put an end to it right they were trying to have you walk away abandoned have you out in the cold you know it was your ex okay and they were trying to make a table permanent ending also no that was the one part now this group cult coven secret society that this emperor like whatever they your your ex and anybody else maybe a father figure or uncle or whatever whoever the fuck is involved okay it's somebody's passing away in this okay they were trying um also or they're getting kicked out do maybe i'm strongly getting possibly your ex could have got kicked out of their group cold coven secret society church whatever the fuck they're in and something dark though okay there it they i feel like your your past person was somebody high up in this cult okay cult. i mean okay this whatever this is this group cold coven secret society it's an end to them they got kicked out all right they they either maybe they passed away or they're gonna pass away or they're they got kicked out they abandoned him him or her um it's your ex okay it's a painful permanent ending to them um they might be now realizing they lied that he or she lied to them about who you were they found out you're an earth angel you're here you're doing your work maybe they're watching you maybe you just started um you know a youtube channel okay or whatever they're doing i'm just thinking youtube possibly or a channel um online because they're watching you and they're seeing you they're discovering that you are the truth you are real you're not anything with this ex of yours or this couple it could be it doesn't have to be your ex it could be a couple it could have been a couple that was trying to get initiated in this or that was in it as well they've seen their jealous but i'm strongly picking up on an ex all right um but they're but for some use it's not your ex it's, it's a couple that was lying they were trying to get um they were trying to get initiated into this group cult coven secret society um they lied about you they tried to put you up for a sacrifice too they're a fucking idiot now they got kicked out but, but i'm always picking up like strongly for most use is this is like um this is somebody's like false flame or something or your 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 ex you know your ex okay they they were very high up your ex not this couple this couple was the one that was trying to get initiated into this group okay they're not they're getting kicked out now your ex was the emperor of this of this group cult coven or you know what i mean they were very high up they are very high ranking in this group cult coven secret society church whatever this is a club whatever it is there it's an end to them they're they're kicking them out because they brought on a lot of heat to them and also this couple i'm also getting to is also getting kicked out like something about someone's actually literally physically passing away though it's a it's a complete ending and it's probably from this death magic backfire i'm strongly getting um now this group called coven secret society they grouped up with your also your karmic ass family they sold their soul to the devil all right also they were trying to use you as a sacrifice now they were told they were telling the, this group called coven found out who you were they found out you were an earth angel they told your ex and they told this dumbass couple and your fucking karmic ass family um to leave you the fuck alone okay to that you're not to be fucked with because it's bringing this group called coven secret society a lot of problems not only spiritually they're losing their gifts they you know they're you know they're losing gifts and everything else not only that but in the 3d they're getting um legal troubles because of what they've been doing to you they've been stalking you they've been harassing you they've been tempted to not only spiritually um unalive you but literally physically unalive you they were paying people your family they were paid your even your karmic family um good money to to try to unalive you um and this couple has too it was a couple that that, that grouped up with your ex and also you know karmic friends of yours and karmic family um of your like car your karmic family also um for some of you your ex was paid to come in for a lot of you this is the case they were paid okay to come in because they knew who you were all right you they were they knew who you were they knew you had this abundance this inheritance that left you plus they knew your your birth chart they knew that you're destined for greatness so they were paid to come in to unalive you for some of you your false flame actually ended up falling in love with you okay and they ended up but it's like they're for the wrong reasons no don't take them back trust me when i tell you because they're still just trying to finish the job they were unable to do it okay but now that you walked away from them they really want to do it okay so please 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 and they took the bait they took this bride now they also your false flame who's very high up in this this cult coven secret society these luciferians whatever this is is something very dark and 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 um they they worship the devil they made this deal with the devil right they sold their soul they were supposed to bring the devil your soul my darling but you are a queen of cups look we have the king of cups following behind it completion end of a cycle all right the world card all right so now they made this deal your ex okay made a deal with the devil and to become famous i'm strongly getting for misuse it is for fame 
okay they wanted to sacrifice you now the devil always knew that you know they were never going to bring be able to bring you know the devil your soul i mean for instance for my boss name literally even told me and this scumbag even told me that um you know oh he gets whatever he wants and he wants you fuck you bitch you ain't getting me you got me fucked up <laughs> and um he literally told me this to my face such a piece of shit i think it was actually that same night that i just told you about um about how you know he, the, the last night that i that i seen him um i told him to get the fuck out of my house uh but still i was still nice enough to let him stay there until fucking seven in the morning like an asshole i should never let him do it but whatever i'll never see him again but um yeah they like he told me that that night too well you know they made that steal with the devil the devil knew that like it was never going to happen but now the devil's like okay homie and this is how you can definitely tell him if you're a twin flame you're definitely coming into union real soon because now the devil's like all right bro where's this fucking where's the soul at like laughing like you know just manipulating him because that's what the devil does um and the, the, he's like well i don't know i'm trying to get back but she has her sword up look she has he or she for some of you you're female some of you you're male they're like you have your sword up you can't like they're like I, I don't know i'm gonna do some more love magic i'm gonna do some more shit and then, no you have your sword up you're not gonna let that sword down so they don't know what to do they're trying to figure out a way to come back in to finish the job because they know it's either your soul or their soul well guess what honey it's not going to be your soul so it's going to be their soul painful painful permanent ending because again with the false name their only mission was to do this to you to end you to make sure you don't come into union with your true twin but look once you come into union with your true twin there's no reason for your false name to be here no more so guess what the devil's coming to collect so some of you you came into union with your true twin so guess what your false name this is their destiny right here they're going to be passing this is how you know you're definitely really close so you keep in mind guys your false flame is on they they're they're bugging out because they know this is coming for them so they're trying everything to snake their way in they could possibly end up drunk calling you tonight all right drunk dialing you it's very important for you to keep it like you keep it you know keep that sword up because they're only planning to come in to do this because the devil's on their ass and it's like okay so what are you going to do and now they don't have the backing of this group called coven secret society because they got kicked out all right so now they're really bugging and they're on, they're on their list you know they they're running out of time they're running out of resources they don't have any resources resources anymore because this group cult coven kicked them out it's a complete ending to them they don't they want they have no ties with this person they want nothing to do with them because this your false and your false flame some of your karmic family and especially that couple have brought this group cult coven secret society a lot of burdens okay a lot of burdens uh, like spiritually and also um you know in the 3d because this group cult coven is secret society whatever this is is being exposed okay for what they fucking done so they're trying to come in hiding their emotions all right they're going to tell you oh i'm in deep emotional pain dude. I, I don't want to miss out on this opportunity with you i'm so sorry babe uh, you're right i love you no it's a lie it's a lie they're still in darkness they're trying to finish their job okay they're trying to finish their mission i mean well yeah their job because their job in life was to do this to you but keep that sword up and you're going to you're going to keep your sword up you're going to keep that sword up it's a place the end of a cycle because you're keeping the sword up okay now you can progress okay and you can come into union with your true true with your with your twin you know one is the queen one is the king you're coming into union and when that cut happens it's a completion it's the end of a cycle you know because you kept your sword up and guess what this is going to be your false flame going this is going to be the hearse coming to get your false flame while you progress because you you know you completed this cycle you're coming into union you're keeping your sword up and you're progressing with your union with your divine counterpart you're going ahead while this is going to be the hearse coming to pick up your your false flame because it's going to be a painful permanent ending this to them to your false because their mission failed they failed their mission you are you're not going to fail your mission um, collective you are completing your mission okay you have a very big purpose to be here you are a twin flame you have a huge mission no one's gonna stop it nobody's gonna block it even if they thought they did in the past they're fucking dumb all right there's nobody can stop this it's a painful permanent ending to this ex of yours okay literally like they like i said they got kicked out of this group called coven they got kicked out they they, they want nothing to do with them okay 
it's a completion because they were told not to do this fucking death magic too that they sent you they, they were told not to do this they did it anyway so now they're like okay now guess what idiot she, the, the collective is way too protected so guess what's happening to this death magic it's coming back to this whole group cult coven why because even even people in this group cult coven that had nothing to do with it that told them no don't do it some of these people in this group cult coven taught your ex taught your ex how to do this so guess what anybody that was involved even if they told them no they still have some sort of involvement because they taught your ex how to do this so everybody's getting some sort of backfire from this death magic so people are losing their gifts and everything else and some people are passing away your your false flame is definitely one of them especially when you come into union some use it, it might even happen before you come into union all right so just be mindful of that, guys. Please. Holy Spirit, one Spirit, angels, ancestors. Oh, what was that passed away? Someone's name could be John, because I was just talking about my Uncle John. Um, rest in peace, Uncle John. I love and miss you. And my Uncle John was a fucking yo. Nobody, he looked just like Steven Seagal, like at his best. You know what I mean? He looked just like him. And he was like, a, he was like a built, um, you know, he's built like a shit brick house. Nobody going to fuck with my Uncle John. And he's been my number, one of my number one fucking, um, protectors too yep you can look <laughs> queen of swords you got your sword up okay they don't see this because they did some sort of love magic right they think that they're gonna try and be able to like i said they're expecting you to be drunk right they're also expecting you to be drunk too so that this love magic this death magic, all this shit will stick to you you're not going to be drunk though hopefully all right so you're still going to have your sword up they're going to be like oh fuck because they think that like all right well you know they're going to be drinking at st patty's hey let's get their vibrations we're going to do this love magic we're going to do all this and the the the, the soften the blow we're going to do this death magic and if this death magic doesn't hit then at least the love magic will hit hopefully it's not going to though and they're going to be like all right then i can sneak my way in try and think oh i'm sorry collective i'm sorry i see what was wrong and they're going to try and finish the job but no they don't see this coming it's hidden that you're still having your sword up and this magic doesn't work on you because you're too protected beautiful i love it and because like i keep telling you because you're having your sword up and you're not allowing them back in is why you're getting this inheritance and why you're getting these passion into beginnings and why you're coming into union with their actual true your true twin flame or your true soulmate always in the divine spirit and it's coming in quick quick communication and it's a backfire to them look <sighs> eat <of> swords <laughs> motherfuckers are getting locked up they won't let them out they're doing some sort of binding magic on you <laughs> your ex they're a fucking loser okay they're trying to do some sort of binding magic you know like i said they want to come back in too so they can sleep with you and they can take your good karma they know you got this they want to steal your stardom they want to steal your good karma and they want to drop do an um, energy transfer they want to transfer their negative energy um your, their, your all their bad karma into you literally like literally into you because they want to have intercourse and they want to you know transfer that's so what the way they're doing it is through you know um sexual activity so they wanted to do like a a swap it's not happening because you have your sword up you won't allow them so whatever binding magic they had on you before it's not working it's it's broken it's it's done that 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 magic has been been done plus you know you're too protected so um now they're in their their they're fucking bugging out they don't know what to do somebody's going to prison for some you you're you're gonna find out that your ex got locked up or they're about to um they're about to get locked up all right they're in spiritual court now they're there and it's already been made in the in the spirit um it's coming from the 5d it's coming down into the 3d okay and it's because look yeah completion end of a cycle someone's going to prison like they're going to federal prison this is federal prison here with the eight of swords with on top of the um with the with the world card because with federal prison okay you go they they what the fuck is that called i forget um well federal prison that yeah, you go all around the state you know what i mean they'll, they'll transfer you not even a state i mean like they'll go all over america or wherever okay um i mean i think it's like yeah it's all over america um I don't know 